uh, my name is Kenneth. I'm, I'm not hired by Particle. I'm just a, a more active community member uh, working on the product. So I, I do some like fixes for their command line tool and stuff like that. But uh, I, I'm a hardware guy, so I don't really know much about JavaScript and stuff, but I'm gonna share with you guys what you can do. So I hope <clears throat> you guys can make use of the hardware that you have, um, that you got during the registration. So um, that's my handler name. You can find me in the forum as well if you need more help. So I'm just gonna show you the hardware that we are gonna work with. Oh, sorry, I forgot to mention that Particle is an IoT company. So they sell a lot of the Internet of Things development kit, which is, um, they make use of a lot of API endpoints, so you guys should be very familiar with that. So uh, I can't run the device here because I think the My Republic blocks the port that we need to talk to. So I'm gonna send it to the device on the right, the one on the right side that is running somewhere else in my home. Okay. So the, the two on the left are like cellular versions, but you can speak to them using the same endpoint. Okay. So um, let me do the demo. So what I'm gonna do first is. Um, Let's look at this one here. So uh, one of the developers for Particle wrote this um, um, web app, basically. So it shows you the, let me just refresh. So it shows the devices that are online in my account right now. So you see um, three devices online. And um, let it load. So I guess you guys are familiar. It's open source, you can take a look at this one. So these are some of the functions that are available on the device that we coded. So you can call it based on an API endpoint. So let me give you an example. So let's say I have two devices running now here. So I want to know what's the battery um, percentage left right now. So I just hit update here. And yeah, we get a value. So the, the battery is like 92% right now. So everything is done via the web. Even though you're not a hardware developer, you can interact with a hardware device. So that's the beauty of using the um, Particle Hardware Kit. So let's do something more interesting. So I have a code right now over here. It's using their online web IDE. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send this code, publish it, um, or rather flash it to the device um, in my house, and it's going to do a publish uh, message every 1.5 seconds. So I guess you guys are pretty familiar with the publish subscribe thingy in, uh, in your JavaScript world. So let me just flash the code here. So what it does, it will send to the server to compile, and once it compiles, it sends over to the device. So it says uh, flash successful. They have a dash um, bot feature here as well. So you see a series of um, servers, um, SSE events. So you can see right now over here, um, the device is actually publishing the event. So um, these are some things that you can do. You can um, check out the documentation as well. So it's uh, things that you guys are really familiar with, like API, JSON, um, data coming back and stuff like that. So I hope you guys will go home and explore the device, play around with it and build some cool stuff. So um, some place that you can go to, we have the forum. So in the forum, there's a lot of like project sharing and stuff like that. You can go there and get some project ideas. Um, go and disturb your hardware buddy and get them to build something for you and make something interesting with uh, JavaScript. So um, I hope you guys had a better understanding of the hardware that was given out during registration and yeah, hope you have some fun. Thank you, Kenneth.